How has going to the gym impacted your life? Well, I used to get into a lot of trouble. I've been, I've been to prison, jail, uh, did drugs, sold drugs, and the gym is what kind of brought me out of that and kept me good, among other things, but it's kind of like my escape. Uh, it's definitely giving me a lot more confidence. Ditto. So I was a really shy kid, and like that kid got bullied, so I was like, fuck these bullies. Yeah, I mean, it's made me go like more outgoing and confident for sure. It's my stress reliever, so it keeps me from losing my mind. Uh, I'm a nurse, so I definitely need it. What's your deeper reason for working out? It's like self-meditation. So I just do it till I get out of my head. Makes me feel good about myself. Oh, darker times. Makes you feel good. I feel like every relationship I've been in, like, guys, fit for my body. A dude's never been happy, at least, like, the ones I've been in, like, I thought my body. They've always mentioned, like, oh, if I pay a job, or oh, if I did this. Like, I don't know. I was insecure before, but that definitely, like, set it in, so body just work. When I was growing up, I was just too skinny. I was shy. I would go to the beach with a shirt on. So I wanted to change something for myself to so I could feel better about myself. What's your deeper reason for working out? Because I, I don't know. Didn't I, need to I, wear I shit now, buddy. I've always been an athlete. So uh, once sports have gone away, uh, working out's really what I had left. So something like fill that void, you know, something to make myself better. You know, sometimes you go to some deep, dark places and you can handle it a few different ways. You either go get drunk to make bad decisions for people you can come here and be productive and healthy about it. So they're really that's my reasons, you know, growing up without a dad, a lot of pain dealing with that stuff there. This is the best way to handle it. Take the negative, turn it into a positive, do something healthy for yourself. You know what I mean? Kind of keep my head right, my clarity, and keep me straight in line. Why do you work out? For it to be in better health. I gained a lot of weight in 2020 over the whole pandemic. Just kind of started feeling shitty about myself. And then just sort of kept going back to the gym. Decided, you know, what I want to do. It's therapy thing. So, so, I mean, as long as I'm just doing something that makes me sweat to freeze anxiety. I feel like I just work out, you know, stay in good shape, man. It helps me, like, take lots of things off my mind. Like, Makes me feel good. I mean, if I work out, I know I could go home at the end of the day and feel better about myself than rather than sitting at home. You know, it's not really about an image about myself, really. Why do you work out? For myself. To live good. To better myself. I want to get healthy, just live longer. General self-love. Get big, I guess. I don't know. Just to better myself, put myself in a better headspace. How did going to the gym yeah, impact your life? Yeah. Positively, I'd say. Um, I was depressed and had no energy, and getting to the gym really helped that. Well, both of those things. It's given me a lot more self-confidence. Just to be a lot more overweight, so I've been able to work on my confidence more than the outside, it's more of the interior. It makes you feel better. You know, even if you're having a bad day, you can come in here and get your mind off stuff. It's just, even if the day hits you hard, you can come in here and kind of forget about it. You know, you're making progress, you're working on yourself, you know? So if the day went bad, you can make it a little better. What gets you in the gym on the days you don't want to go? Honestly, I have a I have a decent support group. So I've got my wife wants me to not be fat, and my siblings want me to want me to get healthier. I'll send a text to a group chat or to my wife like I just really don't feel like going to the gym today, and she'll say, "Okay, but do it anyway." Run free workout because if I take that on the way home from work, then I'm going. Like I really don't got a choice. It's a tough question. It's been discipline. I was in the military at one point. It's it's been just like a regular thing. It's more about the discipline. It's really like not anything that gets from motivated. It's just doing it regularly, you know? That's so nice to see that. Like all those different people, young, old, male, female, all different shapes and sizes, all hitting the gym. Mainly, I said 90, 95% of those reasons were for, for in here, for mental health. And that's why I go to the gym. That's why I started the gym. Is for mental health reasons and i was lucky enough to make a career out of going to the gym i went on to win the world's strongest man and it, that, that void filler that hobby of going to the gym became my 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 passion and i always say that having that void filler is very important in life like people suffer with mental health and depression anxiety and i'm not saying that going to the gym is your fix but what I am saying is that every single person has got a fix. Your fix might be going out for a walk, taking your dog for a walk, going, going for a drive, going drag racing, playing chess. What I'm saying is everyone's got a fix. And I guess it's never give up until you find your fix. Keep trying different things and find your fix. My fix was the gym. Their fix was the gym. Maybe your fix is the gym. So give it a go. What's your embarrassing gym experience? I shit myself off squatting. Yeah, I had the runs and came in here and squatted anyway. It's always sweat stains. So I get up and I wipe like every time. Probably going every day. You know, every single day you're like going in or doing something. You look stupid when you're lifting weights, making funny faces. But you know, just going in and getting over it. I was going to bench a, uh, a very high, high weight and I actually dropped it 
and it landed on my chest and I didn't get it off. So I had to light the screen for keep between over the beat and help me get it off. Been never, been there, bro. What's your humbling gym experience? Probably yakking after a workout. It really humbles you, you know? It's like, how could you, how could you act all hot when you just like yacked in front of your boy? I'm actually just getting over a pulled abdomen muscle. So my bench press has dropped like 75 pounds in the last two months. Cause I hadn't been able to, you know, really do it. I hit my head all the time. Well, I like just gym equipment. I'll just nod my head and act like I'm cool and all, but it just hurts. I want to cry. What's your embarrassing gym experience? Oh, uh, dropping on a squat. Not being able to get it back up and then dropping the bar off and everybody just turns and looks. I got a buddy like help out with programs and stuff and some of the stuff we run is like banded or like chains and stuff like, i don't i mean i'm not a very big dude i'll break through bands my throw chains on it's like i'm 12 so just that's probably the worst but drop the weight on the pile putting it on the rat and it gets oh i'll do is a bar self bro i split my shin so i just never have a lot of people what's something you wish you knew as a beginner in the gym how to properly do exercises i mean i've been doing this for a long time in and out because of surgeries and stuff but yeah when i first came in uh back in high school man it was like not knowing how to squat right or do things right, have an elbow or knee pro joint problem. So yeah, someone had to taught me how to do that from the beginning, you know, it would have been way better on my body. If people taught you consistency, that's the key, I think, to lifting weights that people don't realize. I think they can come in and do it one day or a couple of days when it takes, you know, a commitment of a few months or so to actually see yourself. Probably the best thing is not to overwork yourself. Don't You don't have to do eight exercises to feel like you did, did something. Three to four, perfectly fine with just that. What's your humbling gym experience? One time I was incline benching and uh, I didn't have a clip on one side and all the weight fell off and pulled me off the other side. And it was like a max too, so like I had like a douchebag amount of weight on. So it was just flung me. On this machine right here, I'm with to pull the weight out and there's like a metal bar right there and it slammed down on my head whenever I pulled the weight out. Just being around so many super fit people, you know, in a place like this, but it also inspires you to keep growing up, you know what I mean? So I'm humbled in the gym every day, just coming around people who are super fit and live that lifestyle. Have you ever had an embarrassing gym experience before? I think everybody does. I've dropped weights. I've done all kinds of shit. On the lap pull downs, I always hit my head on it. <laughs> Bro, I'm not gonna lie, that shit happened to me. Probably I do with probably a dead left thumb stuck there. I was like, you know, hey, go, go get, did somebody get cost him help? I'm like, oh, where's to a choke with the bar? I was dancing without a spotter. I was the dude was a little away from me. Yeah. The bar kind of got on my chest. I couldn't get it off. So I asked somebody to come take it off. What'd you say to a beginner in the gym who hasn't started working out, but wants to? It's all about starting. And once you kind of get it, your schedule into your routine, it's kind of hard to start. Once you get your body moving, or wants to keep moving, so. Something that I did that was probably sound stupid. I used to like watch celebrity workout routines. <laughs> like how did Ryan Reynolds get to look like that? Just finding something that really works for you, something that you can stay consistent with, you can build your way up to. Keep pushing, I'm not gonna make it right at first. It'll be years later. Every single one of those things that people have said in that video has happened to me. Every single one. Getting pinned, dropping weights on your foot, shitting yourself, throwing up, you name it. I was saying this, right? Back in the day when I was training for Will Strongest Man, unless you throw up, pass out, or shit yourself, you're not training hard enough. So, up your game, people.